Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to, clearly, another chatty get ready with me video. I love filming these. You guys ask really fun questions. I get to chat about topics I enjoy talking about. I enjoy chatting with you guys. You guys get to, I was gonna say see how I do my makeup. It's really not that exciting. But what is exciting is today is mine and Bradley's fifth wedding anniversary and so later on this evening we're gonna go out to one of our favorite fancy special occasion restaurants and i'm really excited and so i thought we could get ready together i asked you guys on instagram for questions or topics like when i i will answer questions happily but we can also chat about topics so i always ask over there sorry i'm moving closer to the camera so i always ask for topics on instagram before i go into these and you guys always make them super fun so yeah i'm just excited to sit down and chat i also haven't had much time to do any work this week just because Bradley has had a busy schedule and Milo decided to skip naps a couple of the days so I'm just happy to have a morning where I can like chill and film do my makeup all that so we're gonna get into that but firstly I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Ana Luisa you guys know I am such a fan of Ana Luisa and September is actually their fifth anniversary or birthday as well which is so cute if you don't know what Ana Luisa is it is a great jewelry line they make really affordable and like timeless classic jewelry that's really dainty and easy to wear every day. I am a mom running around with a toddler, but I still wear their pieces every day. I love them. I always say jewelry is a really easy way to help me feel a little more put together. And so I love Ana Luisa earrings. You guys know that I talk about them all the time. I have two piercings, so I love to make like little stacks. And it's just a fun way to like, I think their slogan is elevate your everyday. And I think they do a really good job of doing that. And there's truly something for everyone. I'm mostly into earrings and rings, but they do have necklaces, bracelets. I did order a few new pieces. The earrings I'm very excited about. I'm like always on their website in the what's new section and I'm like, hmm. But these are so fun. These are meant to look like their two earrings. So I'm excited about that. This is called the Percy Pearl and these are somewhat new. I will show you a close up, of course, but they're kind of like, they're interesting. They're like a double hoop situation. In my thirties, I have really become come into the huggy hoop situation. I was never into that before, but now I'm like all about it. Oh my gosh, those are so fun. And I still have room to put something in my second hole. What will I put? But look how cute that is. It looks like a double situation. How fun. I think I'll put my mini organic pearls in my second hole always. These are my very favorite earrings from Ana Luisa. Just to play on like the pearl that's in the front. How fun. Another combo I love are these like sparkly huggies. Also good for birthday or anniversary. But I've been wearing them this combo like every day. I love the mix of like the sparkles and the pearls. I think it's pretty. But yeah, perfect for every day, but also perfect for like a little special dinner. I also got some pretty rings. This one is called the Darcy ring. Again, I'll give you a close up. But it is so pretty. It'd be pretty like along with your wedding band stack. And then I actually got one that looks like my wedding band because my wedding band doesn't fit anymore after pregnancy. I got my engagement ring resized, but my wedding band's a pave diamonds all around band so i don't even know if you can resize that but this is called the eternity ring and again it's like a pave band with sparkly studs and it looks just like my wedding band <laughs> except my wedding band i guess is rose gold but it's super pretty we'll wear that the rest of the video <laughs> but yeah i truly do wear on louisa jewelry every single day i love their stuff they're always coming out with new things and i really feel like they have something for everyone so if you would like to check out their stuff as well i will have their website linked down below and you can use my code which is amylin20 for 20% off your order, which is a higher discount than I used to get with them. So it's their fifth anniversary. It's a great time to go over there, see what they have, use the 20% off and enjoy some jewels. But okay, let's go ahead and get into the getting ready portion. I feel like I can just, I just messed that up. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do anything like fancy. I don't ever do anything fancy. I find I feel most confident and prettiest and just like my everyday natural makeup. Hold on, let me pin my hair up. My hair is a hot crazy mess, but we're just going to ignore it. And again, if I like forget to say what I'm using, I will have everything I use down in the description, but I don't think I'm using like anything super new and fancy today. I do have a new blush to talk about in my favorites this month, but it's like an underpainting blush and I really honestly haven't nailed the technique yet. I need my makeup to look good and last pretty much. I mean, I'll touch up before I leave, of course, but like, I'm just gonna go with a tried and true fave. <laughs> Let me open up the questions. Somebody said a recap of your wedding day. That's appropriate. Um, I'm just putting this halo glow stuff like on the center of my face. I, don't, I found that I don't like a glowy 
chin or forehead, but I do like it in the center of my face. Wedding day was superb. I was a very involved bride. I didn't have a wedding planner. I planned it all myself. So I very much knew, you know, like what was going down. I knew what to expect. I guess you never know what to expect, but we really did not have any hiccups in our whole day. And I credit myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But we're lucky in that. Yeah, I planned everything. Obviously with Bradley. Bradley was very involved as well. We did have a day of coordinator only because our um, venue forced us to, like it was required, but thank goodness we did. And she made our day go so smoothly and I hired a friend and it, she just made the day great. So slay Lissa if you're watching. Love you. I'm also out of my favorite foundation, but I'm just using a little bit and then I have another foundation to use. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I need to order it again. I don't know why I haven't. Well, we'll see if we can get enough coverage with this. And if not, I have another foundation to mix in. Um, we were gonna sleep apart the night before, but we decided we didn't want to. We were too excited and just, we wanted to be together. Um, so we woke up together, we had breakfast together, which was really nice. I couldn't, like, I know it's tradition to like not see each other and I get that's exciting and all, but it was also really exciting to wake up together and have breakfast and be like, it is our wedding day. But after breakfast, he left. Um, we used the honeymoon suite that we had um, for everybody to get ready because it was like a big suite with two rooms. Everybody did hair and makeup in there. The two makeup artists I hired were two of my best friends and then Bradley's cousin and her husband did hair. And so it was just really good vibes in there with just friends, close friends and family. But once I was ready, um, I was whisked away um, to the venue to meet Bradley for our first look photos, which we wanted to be completely alone for that. And it was magical. I'm going in with a little bit of the Butter Believe It foundation and concealer, which does have really good coverage. I'm in the shade um, Fair to Light. When we were getting married and planning everything, I was like at first kind of bummed at the thought of first look photos, but it is actually kind of so magical to have that moment alone. So many things I was overthinking, like I always talk about how I helped Bradley pick out my engagement ring. I was so worried. I was like ruining the fun and ruining the surprise, but then it ended up being like extra fun and an extra fun thing to do together that was part of our wedding. And now I have my dream ring. Yeah, same thing with that. Like, I just feel like I was overthinking. I was like, oh, but I want that special moment of walking down the aisle. It's like, it's still gonna be so freaking special. And adding another special moment of the first look where it was just the two of us and we have it on video and it wasn't in front of a bunch of people. It was really nice. You're on the fence about a first look. I loved it. Yeah, after the first look photos, we had photos, just the two of us for a while. Photos took forever. And I knew I wanted a lot of photos, which is why I planned it before ceremony and the party. We of course took some during cocktail hour, but Bradley and I also really wanted to be a part of cocktail hour because it was really cool. It was gonna be like the coolest part of our wedding and we wanted to be there. We got married at Castle Green, which used to be Hotel Green. It is now apartment buildings. It's like apartments or condos on top, but then it's like this grand ballroom and like really cool vibes kind of spooky vibes. On the bottom, they have like really cool fireplaces and awesome outdoor area. It was the only wedding venue we saw and we loved it. And everybody was like, you're crazy to book it after the first one. And I was like, well, we're not gonna love anything else as much as this. And why put ourselves through the stress of like keeping looking when we love this location? And so we booked it. It's in Pasadena. You can't just go visit. They do have like holiday uh, tours cause they like decorate all pretty. Yeah, that's where we got buried. What was my point in that? Oh, the cocktail hour. The cocktail hour was like in their like parlor lounge area with all the fireplaces and it was just really cool. So we knew we wanted to be there and I knew I wanted a lot of photos. And I, I made a list of like in a, a light schedule but every single photo I wanted because you, you can forget like when you're in the midst of things but you wanna make sure you have a solo with your mom, solo with your dad, solo with your family members. Actually for my um, sister-in-law's wedding, which was last year, they did kind of like a everybody at first and then they kind of dwindled down and then kind of switched people out, which was smart as well. But I just, I would recommend having a list to stay organized if you want a lot of photos. So we took photos for like literally three hours. It was a long time. I definitely stripped naked in my little bridal suite because my dress was so hot and heavy and I just needed a moment. But then after photos, we actually had like, maybe not a full hour, but like, an hour, 45 minutes-ish to just chill inside the venue while the guests arrived and sat down and I retouched up my makeup, of course, and just, we hung out. Then we had the ceremony, which was great. My best friend, Jordan, married us, which was so incredibly special. We showed Milo our wedding video this morning and he loved it. He sat there and he watched the whole thing. <laughs> but we watched our wedding video this morning and my best friend did such a phenomenal job with the, the speaking and the speeches and everything he wrote was so beautiful. And yeah, we just, I was like, we owe Jordan our lives for such a beautiful wedding ceremony. The only hiccup of the entire day was the like, mic for the guests to hear wasn't working as well. So I think the guests like in the way back didn't hear anything, but I'd rather have that over the mics for the video were working. And that's what's important. 
So that was our only hiccup of the day, at least that I know of. Maybe he, people were telling me things. I'm using my NARS cream bronzer, by the way. But yeah, that cocktail hour, I remember right after like we kissed and you know, or announced and whatever, we went back to our bridal suite. They literally had food there waiting for us. I had so many of the little appetizers before even going out into the thing, which we kept the food very us. Like I didn't want like frou-frou food. We literally had Stonefire cater our wedding. <laughs> Which I think made my mother want to die. She was like, what? Some, some people think Stonefire is trashy. I think it is delicious. Whenever I go anywhere where it's, that is being catered, I love it. And it was affordable. But for the appetizers, we had Caprese skewers, meatballs, and I feel like mini plain cheeseburgers. And I just downed a bunch because I was hungry and like, I don't know, a little bit of the pressure uh, released. Everybody told us you won't eat on your wedding day. And we were like, no, we will. We love Stonefire and we really didn't eat. We both felt not anxious at dinner, I guess anxious, but in like the hyped up anxious kind of way. Yeah, we did not eat. We both regret that. We're like, damn, all of our favorite Stonefire food. <laughs> but yeah, cocktail hour, we did some sunset photos. This is, I'm taking way too long to talk about this. Uh, introduction, first dances, dinner, speeches, the biggest dance party ever. My friends really came through with my ideal dance party. I love to dance. I grew up dancing. Um, I love like nostalgic music. I also <laughs> was the own DJ at my wedding. I worked so hard on creating the perfect dance, my perfect dance party playlist. We did have like a DJ there, but he was mostly like an MC. Again, we hired a friend to just like make the announcements, someone to push the buttons, make the night go smoothly. But I literally have like mixes that are like 20 minutes long of songs like fading in <laughs> other ones. I am crazy when it comes to music, but like I couldn't just make a playlist because there was way too much Ariana Grande in it and what if like all of them play in a row? So I took it very seriously, but it was also so fun. I so enjoyed making that playlist. I get a lot of requests to share it or like put it up on Spotify. I'm gonna keep that for me. But I still see family members of Bradley's to this day five years later and they're like, that dance party at your wedding. I'm like, yeah, I know. I have dance and friends who love it just as much as I do. I did not leave that dance floor. And it was just, it was my ideal wedding. It was incredible. Bradley and I had the best day. Wedding planning is really, really stressful. Not the entire time, but a lot of it is. But I always tell friends who are like going through it or like deciding if they want to go through it or just elope. But the day itself is so worth it. And it's so magical. Pay for the photos and videos. I know a lot of people think, eh, we don't need that. You do. It's the best part to have to look back on. Yeah, it just was the best day ever. And we're gonna be relieving it all day. Like I said, we already watched the wedding video, but I wanna like go through like my time hop and stuff and obviously our actual wedding photos. But yeah, that was our wedding day five years ago today. I can't believe it. So five years ago today, I was probably getting my hair and makeup done, getting ready. Cause I remember first look was at two o'clock. I had a moment this morning where I, we were watching the video and in my vows, I said, I can't wait for our lives together. I'm gonna try not to cry. I cannot cry. Let me concentrate. But in my vows, I say, I'm so looking forward to our lives together with babies and dogs and like looking around, we have that now. And it just, I, I started crying because I just can't believe it's five years and how much we've grown and how much we've done. And time just, it feels like five years, but it also feels like yesterday. Like it's nuts. I'm putting some of this bronzer in my crease. Okay, but now that I'm halfway through my makeup, <laughs> let's talk about something else. Oh my God, somebody said, let's discuss the possibility of NSYNC reuniting. Well, I guess they, uh, like they announced they are reuniting kind of for the new song on Trolls. It better be more than that because they're making such a fuss out of it. I'm hoping for like a Vegas residency. I mean, it's either gonna be nothing. I guess that's an option. It's a reunion tour, which I don't know. I feel like I don't know if they'll do that. A Vegas residency, which would make sense. Oh no, the lighting, we have to shift. Hold on, everybody. I was like, why am I so hot? The sun. But I am stoked if they're getting back together. We actually watched their Hot Ones interview last night and it's just, it's fun to see them back together. I grew up totally an NSYNC fan, but I was like, like somebody asked me, were you a Lance or a Justin kind of girl? And I don't remember having like a fangirl crush on any of them. I was more into the Backstreet Boys and I, <laughs> my favorite was Kevin. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought he was so handsome. He was my favorite one. <laughs> It's not that it's funny, it's just that nobody's favorite is Kevin. But like, I was obsessed with Hans and I had such a crush on Zach. I don't remember having a crush on any of them. I guess probably JT. JT was, was so hot. We were watching our Hot Ones interview then led us into like old in sync videos. Oh, it's because I saw a TikTok about how Joey injured himself on the set of Pop, the music video. And so Wade Robson is literally 
standing in for Joey and I had never noticed it in my entire life and I love that music video. So we watched that, which I would highly recommend watching that now that you know, <laughs> you can see like they, it's crazy. By the way, I use my favorite MAC eyeshadow. It's, it gets the job done every time. I'm gonna use my really dirty eyelash curler. Um, but yeah, we were watching old and sync videos. I think my two favorites are pop and it's gonna be me. But JT is so hot in both of those, like good lord. But yeah, I am very down for a reunion. I can't wait to hear the song. Me and Bradley actually love the, I think it was part of Trolls 2 song that JT did with SZA. It's so good. So like, you guys, I love, I know he's like canceled and he's in trouble, but like, I love JT music. I feel like that is why he's like agreeing to this because nobody cares about him anymore. He's like, well, I'll just, you know, give the people what they want, but it's fine by me because I love them. My husband is a, I'm a Backstreet Boys fan. He's a huge NSYNC fan. I, when it comes down to it, I feel like both their music is great and I love a lot of it, but I feel like Backstreet Boys have the bigger hits. I feel like they have more of the big hits. Let me know what you think. Somebody said between Shanghai Disneyland and Hong Kong Disneyland, which would you do first? Well, first of all, if I'm getting on that plane to Asia again, I'm doing them both. <laughs> I'll figure it out to see both of them. Because now that I've, I never thought I would go to Tokyo. Like that was not, I uh, just not something I ever thought I would do, but we ended up going to Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea. And I definitely, it's number one on my bucket list to go to Disneyland Paris to do the Alice in Wonderland maze. And so once I do those, like I just have to go to China and finish it out and go to all the parks. But if I was picking just one of them, I would, Definitely have to go to whichever one, which I think is Hong Kong, has the Mystic Manor, which is their version of Haunted Mansion, but it's scored by Danny Elfman. I'm like, I have to experience that in life. So we'll see. That is something, if we do it, we will do when Milo's much older so he can enjoy it. But we've always talked about that. Like, oh, we'll take Milo to China when he's like eight or nine. Oh my God, how fun. But yeah, it's, we talk about it, but there's no like official plans, but we'll see. I've also had a couple of questions. I think like two or three of you asked about like, what age we want to take Milo to Disney World? Are we considering it? We're looking into it like soon, obviously because he's still free to get in, <laughs> but also just because we love it. He has such a good time when we go to the theme parks now. By the way, I'm using my favorite Say Peachy Dewy Blush. He loves the rides and he has such a good time and it will be like difficult with a toddler, um, but we want to do it. We haven't been since 2019 and we want to go. We want to go just the three of us. We'll go with families like later on in life, but First time we want to go just the three of us, have him experience the stuff we love and flying with the toddler has not been easy, but we're, we'll do it for that. Disney World is worth it. Somebody said every Halloween costume you remember being as a kid. That's a fun question. Um, I definitely remember being winter Barbie and I felt beautiful because my mom put um, mascara on me and blush and I just felt like the prettiest girl in the world. I really remember being Wednesday Addams. I loved that one. I had like the long black wig, which I think we ditched the wig and I just wore my natural hair in a braid, but my mom did make me like a doll head and everything to carry around and it was a good costume. Loved that. I'm trying to think, why am I drawing a blank? When, but like initially that question, the first one I think of is Wednesday Adams. I loved being Wednesday. I feel like I was Barbie more than once. I was really into Barbie. Now I can't remember anything. I guess those are just the two that come to mind. We took Halloween very seriously in our house. I was always dressed up. I, I dress, I still dress up. I love it. I think it was a pink Power Ranger one year. I remember me and my brother doing that. I'll have to go through photos and see what I was. Somebody asked how often does Bradley think about the Roman Empire? Which if you don't know, that's like a trend on TikTok to ask your like spouse, just like the men in your life, how often they think about the Roman Empire. Bradley's answer was never. And I asked my brother and he, um, he answered, it was very early on in the trend. And he's like, honestly, every like few days. And I was like, have you seen this trend and you're just messing with me? And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, and I explained it to him. Then he explained to me, if you're into politics or history in any way, the Roman Empire just comes up a lot. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so for Bradley, it's none. But for my brother, Matthew, it's a lot. Two of you asked my top three favorite Trader Joe's items. That is hard. Number one is the special cookies. They're the cocoa batons, which for some reason we call in this house my special cookies. <laughs> and I love them. They're the best. They're just like the pure wet chocolate cookies, but they are so, so good. It's a seasonal item, but also the butternut squash mac and cheese comes to mind. I love, I don't, I feel like I never talk about it, but I love their frozen Alfredo in a bag. It is delicious. I usually add some garlic and um, sliced cherry tomatoes. Sometimes we add shredded chicken to like bulk it up, but that is delicious. I love their reduced guilt mac and cheese. I love their mini pizzas. Just so many good things. But we, I, we do like our everyday, every weekly shopping there. 
get all my produce there, our dairy, our eggs. We get everything there. It's the best. Somebody asked favorite Halloween decor you've gotten so far, which the next video, oh, this lighting, you guys, what's happening? Should we back up again? I guess we're doing it. Is that any better? No. Okay, so it just is what it is. The next video that's going up after this, which will be my Halloween home decor haul. My fall home decor haul is already up. I will link that up in the corner, but the Halloween one is coming up next. And instantly, my thought is all the fun taper candles I've gotten for Halloween. You guys know I'm in a taper candle mood lately, and I've gotten so many fun fall and Halloween ones. So probably those were actually going to start decorating for Halloween today after I finish filming this. We have a little bit of time before Bradley has some lessons. And then like I said, we're my sister's coming over to watch Milo and we're gonna have a date night, which I'm really excited about. But we both love decorating for Halloween and we feel a little behind as tomorrow is the official first day of fall. So we're gonna do that during nap time. I also think we're gonna get Rubio's takeout, which is a little naughty because we never do like two to go take out meals, eat out twice in a day. But I have a $5 off coupon that expires today and it's Fish Taco Friday, so it's basically free. So <laughs> I'm just justifying it to myself. But food, you never have to feel bad about food. You never have to feel bad about eating. Putting on my Laneige peach stuff that I love so much. I just saw the peppermint came back out. So if you were waiting for that, the peppermint lip mask, it's out. I'll link it down below. I'm gonna set everything, but I will answer more questions. But I've um, used up all my setting sprays. I also just did an empties video. I will link it up in the corner. There was two setting sprays in that last empties, but I this is the last one I have. I do love this stuff. It's the MAC Rose Fix Plus. I talk about this a lot, but like Fix Plus is a great setting spray to have because it does so many different things. You can prep your skin with it. You can use it with no makeup. It does set your skin really nicely if you do have makeup on. Like later on, when we're about to go out and I'm reviving my makeup, I will use a little bit of this just to like revive everything. If you want your eyeshadow to look a little bit foiled, you can get your brush wet with this. Like there's just so many options. I used to spray a little bit on my beauty blender before blending to make it look nice and dewy. It just is a great thing to have. Somebody asked music you're currently listening to. Honestly, this is <laughs> weird, but I'm going through like a 40s music phase. I don't know how to explain it. It just like, I, I've always had the 40s channel saved on my, like I have Sirius XM in my car. And I think it was saved because of Christmas, but then I like enjoyed it. And when I was going through like the really anxious time a couple months ago, I found that it like calms me down. I also love to like throw it on when I'm doing dishes, picking up toys, just picking up, cleaning anytime. It's just really pleasant. It makes me feel like I'm on Buena Vista Street in California Adventure, but it also reminds me of like Christmas time. So that is the most random thing, but I've been listening to like, I ask Alexa to play 40s music and I listen to a lot of that, but like normal time music. <laughs> I've been loving Tori Kelly's EP. It's so good. If you're into like the 2000s R&B vibe, she nailed it. It is so good. And apparently there's more to come and I cannot wait. Demi Lovato Revamped just came out. I've listened through the new Olivia Rodrigo album a couple of times and it's actually really good. Not that I'm surprised by that, but it's very like, like Avril Lavigne, what was her name, Fifi Dobson? Like very like angsty 2000s teen girl vibes. It's really fun. Yeah, I also just mostly listen to like Ariana Grande all the time. <laughs> Somebody says, is your parents podcast off limits? I don't know about off, you mean off limits to talk about here? No, we can talk about my parents podcast. I'm not heavily, I'll be honest, I'm not heavily involved with the podcast because the, if I'm going to get hate, it's from that fan base and i've had some i've had some of them do some really nasty unbelievable things that i said i'd never like publicly say to give them the satisfaction but maybe i'll tell you guys that someday let me know if you want to know <laughs> some really crazy nasty things one time i had to get the police involved like they've done some crazy stuff and so i've just distanced myself from it. I also don't enjoy broadcast. I'm putting on a little more blush. I don't know why, but I am. I don't enjoy broadcast as much as like my father does and my sister loves it. But yeah, so I'm really not involved on the podcast, if that's what you mean. My camera just died, so I don't know where I was, but I was just saying, I obviously like to keep Milo's life a little more private. So I asked them not to talk about, you know, personal stuff of him, but like off limits? Kinda, I don't know. Somebody asked best slash weirdest thing you and Bradley do together. And instantly what came to mind is we will have full five minute conversations where I, where Bradley plays himself and I am the dog, I talk as Ludo, and they go on for forever. <laughs> and so I think that's one of them, but it always makes us giggle. But like, I don't know. That's why a, par a huge reason I love Bradley is because he's just as weird as I am. We spend most of our time together giggling. Somebody else asked if we ever fight. Of course we fight. <laughs> Especially when you throw 
like a kid in the mix on the hard days, like of course you're gonna fight. But yeah, we argue, we don't fight hard, but we certainly argue and have our disagreements and we communicate, we talk them out. It's the best you can do. But yeah, please, I, I'm obviously not sharing moments where we're fighting online, but we certainly do fight. She said though, you guys seem so solid, I couldn't even imagine it. That's really nice to say and to hear. Um, but yes, we certainly argue. I think arguing is like, a healthy part of any relationship, especially when you're like literally sharing a life together. Like, I don't know, maybe not even necessarily argue, but discuss things and disagree on things and you'll work through it. And I think it's part of a healthy relationship to be able to argue or disagree in a productive way, if that makes sense. And since I'm basically done, I'll pick one more. We'll let the hair down. Somebody said, I want to know if you're a Swifty. That's a fun question. I mean, yes, like I stay up to date on all the T-Swift stuff. I always listen to the new album. She really won me over with, I loved the Speak Now album, so I was already like interested, but she really won me over with the Red album. I was going through the worst breakup of my life or like starting to when that album came out my god and honestly what a special time to be going through a breakup during the red album era like it was kind of special <laughs> as awful as it was and i love 1989 so i am so excited for the re-release end of next month i think at first i wasn't into this latest album midnights like I, I i didn't hate it but it was like oh but it is like nice to listen to while i'm doing work like while i'm working doing links or thumbnails or something it's just kind of like easy going nice to listen to um but sure i'm definitely a swifty i think she is a very talented songwriter i think she's very smart i totally like would have gone to her show but i didn't even try and thank goodness because nobody got tickets anyway um, but i do want to go see it in theaters like how fun i want to go with my sister so yeah you could call me a swifty but okay we will cap it there i'm sorry if you asked questions and i didn't get to them but as always i had so much fun we can do this again my hair is a damn mess. You guys, I really need your frizz rec like shampoo and conditioner recommendations. The frizz has been out of control. It's kind of always been out of control my whole life, but now it's like worse postpartum. I had COVID hair loss again when I got it earlier this year and it's like growing back. So please help with the anti-frizz. If you have a favorite shampoo and conditioner that like you really see results with, please let me know. Need to try something new. But anyway, oh, we didn't even discuss my ghost shirts from Old Navy. If it's still available, I'll link it down below, but I love it. It's so soft and comfy, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for all your questions and comments. Like I said, I'm sorry if I didn't get to yours, but we will do this again. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring the video. I will have the link and the discount code in the description for you. Thank you already for all the anniversary love on Instagram. I posted like a recap of our um, rehearsal night last night and already so many of you are saying so many nice things. So thank you so much. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Like I said, with the Halloween home decor haul, I got some vlogs coming up. We're going to Santa Barbara for a couple of days. I'll try to vlog there. If not, catch me on Instagram. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.